Zishan and Sikandar both are very intelligent and studious students. Both live in the same lane. Both have decided to take part in the sports tournaments of the school this time. For this, they want to get trained by Rahim Chacha. Rahim Chacha was a renowned athlete of his time. When the kids went to Chacha with their proposal, he said that they need to first study about muscles and bones of the human body. Only then he will train the kids. After studying, they went to Rahim Chacha. Chacha, we have properly read about bones and muscles. Would you train us now? Yes, why not? But let me first figure out how well you have studied. I will ask questions and you kids must answer. Okay, Chacha, ask. Let's start from a basic question. How does our body remain in the standing position? Chacha ji, our bodies remain in standing position with the help of the hard bony structure and muscles. Hmm, right. Now tell me, how do our body parts move? Chacha ji, our body parts use muscles for movement. Most of our muscles are attached to our bones. These muscles contract and cause movement in the bones. Explain it further in detail. Chacha ji, let me try. As our muscles can only pull bones by contracting, but cannot push them. That is why at least two muscles are needed to cause movement in a bone. For example, if I close my fist and touch my chest with it, then the front muscle of my arm swells as it has contracted. And if I take my hand back, this muscle will relax and the muscle at the back of my arm will contract. Well done! The front muscles of our arms are called biceps and the muscle at the back of the arms are called triceps. Okay, now explain that can we bend or rotate our body parts like hands, legs on places other than the joints? No. Then how are we able to bend and rotate our body parts at the joints? Chacha ji, we can move our hands, legs or other body parts from the places where two or more than two bones are attached to each other. These places are called joints. Look, our palms are one of the most flexible part of our body. We can spread our fingers like a claw, can make a fist with it and can move it in various ways to write as well. We can do this as there are many bones and joints in our palms. No Chacha ji, the basic structure of our bodies is made up of bones. These bones are very hard and strong. These are not flexible. This is why we can't bend them. I will explain it with the help of this stick. If I tie the stick to my shoulder, I won't be able to bend my hand at all. Very well kids. Okay, now tell me how many types of joints are there in our body? Chacha ji, there are many types of joints in our body, like ball and socket joint, through which the bones of our hands are also attached to the shoulders and thigh bones are attached to the hips. Pivotal joints keeps our head attached to the spinal cord in our body. Other than these, we also have hinge joints and fixed joints. Now tell me, which joint is helpful in which kind of movements? Chacha ji, we can rotate our neck left and right or up and down with the help of pivotal joint. And hinge joints work exactly like the opening and closing of doors. These joints are found in our knees, elbows and fingers, etc. The body parts can move only in one direction with the help of this joint. 
एट द बॉल एंड सॉकेट वी कैन मूव अप एंड डाउन और लेफ्ट एंड राइट द ज्वाइंट फाउंड बिटवीन आर हैंड्स एंड शोल्डर्स लेट अस रोटेट आर हैंड्स इन ऑल फोर डायरेक्शन टू सम एक्सटेंट सी वी कैन ऑल्सो मूव आर लेग्स लेफ्ट एंड राइट और बैकवर्ड एंड फॉरवर्ड These are not as flexible as the shoulder though but chacha ji every joint is not for movement there are some joints which are there for strength only a rib cage and our upper jaw is made up of such joints chacha ji if we notice the bones and joints make the most flexible structure of our body it is the spinal cord look how we can bend forward and touch the ground If we practice regularly we can also touch the ground by bending backwards and to some extent we can also bend sideways Well done students you kids have studied in a proper way Now just one last question Tell me that how are the bones of our ears so flexible Chacha ji the bones of our ears are very flexible but are not as strong as the other bones of our body The same kind of bones are found in the frontal part of our nose and joints as well. Children, those parts in our ears and frontal part of our nose are not called bones but cartilages. These cartilages are also present in our joints as well. Anyway, I am extremely happy with both of you. You have passed my exam with full marks. We will start your training from tomorrow. Thank you Chacha ji we will be on time tomorrow for the training Zishan and Sikandar were successful in Rahim Chacha's exam in which he asked questions related to bones, muscles and several other parts of our body and their movements. Today during the school an idea crossed Zishan's mind. Other than humans, various other living beings also move. Different living beings move in different ways. which is very distinct from humans maybe because the structures of their body parts are different from humans zishan shares his idea with sikandar so that they can discuss it in detail sikandar suggests that they should visit the zoo on sunday both studied about it in the school's library at last they reached the zoo on sunday They saw various types of animals over there. To begin with, they went near the snake yard fence. See that Sikandar, how that python is slowly sliding forward. Yes, I read about it that the snakes curve their bodies in loops like as alphabet of English. Each loop of the snakes give it a forward push by pressing against the ground. Actually it pushes its body only from where it is bent. It's fun that a push from one side turns it to the left side and a similar push from other side turns it to the right. This keeps his movement balanced and it slides forward easily. Okay, so that is why it makes curves like S alphabet. It's pretty interesting. Wow, can you see that ostrich over there? Let's go and see that. Wow, how huge this bird is. Till now I had seen it only in books. Do you know that it can't fly? Yes, I know. And do you know that an ostrich kick is so powerful that it can even kill a person if it hits on the head? Look, something is written about the ostrich here. That is the fastest two-legged animal and can run at a speed above 60 km per hour. What? It's really an awesome animal. Let's move ahead. See the beautiful ducks, Dishan. They can move on land, water and even in the sky. In other words, they can walk, swim, fly and can even dive underwater. Looks like they are the superman of the birds. 
Look at this. It is written that the claws of ducks have membrane which helps them in swimming. But due to these membranes, they cannot walk fast on land. All this is so interesting. Sikandar, there is someone at my home as well who can run, swim and even fly. Who? The cockroach. It is an expert in all the three tasks. Cockroaches have six legs. Its strong muscles help it in walking fast. These are so strong that it can easily climb on walls. It also has wings which enables it in flying to short distances. Yuck! Cockroaches are so ugly and scary. Let's look for some other awesome animals now. Why don't we visit the aquarium? Zishan, the structure of fish are so different from ours. Their rib cage is the basic structure of their bodies. They don't have lengths, instead they have small fins. Yes, due to such structures of their bodies, water can flow around it easily and allow the fish to move in water. Their flat fins and tails help them in swimming and changing directions. Haven't you seen submarines? Their shape is also like a fish, wide in the middle and narrow at the front and back. You are right. Well, apart from fishes, there are so many other wonderful animals here. Look, there is a seahorse. It is probably the slowest swimmer in the world. And there are some turtles, starfish and octopuses. I think the most amazing animal in the ocean is the octopus. Do you know that it doesn't have hands and feet but eight tentacles? Its arms are called tentacles. These are very flexible just like our tongues. They help octopus in swimming. The tentacles also have many impressive. Zishan, wait, it's evening already. Let's go home. Otherwise, we will be scolded. I have learned about movements. Now I will run like a horse in the field. Yes, like a seahorse. <laughs> <laughs>